What's going on everyone? Austin John please here and today we're going to be talking about taking food effects and moving them to other cheaper food via a glitch in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> That is the most accurate way I could describe this glitch that was recently found, which you could have very, very easily stumbled upon. That's the weirdest part about this. Like, it's it's not like you have to press certain buttons in a weird combination. You could have you could have done this. You could have done this 100%, and it's going to involve roasted food. So I'm over here at the Karakara Bazaar. This is such a weird thing. Because in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, if you have roasted food, meaning like you just took the food out, you dropped it on the floor, and then you cooked it up, it's going to be roasted and it's stackable. Unlike your other meals that after you cook them in a cooking pot, they're not stackable, but anything that's roasted is stackable. Over here, they're gonna be selling you seared steaks and roasted bass. And roasted bass is from Hyrule Bass, and seared steaks is from just the regular base quality meat, the raw meat. In order to do this, you need to have no seared steaks in your inventory or roasted bass. So if you have any roasted bass, which you can pick that up at enemy encampments or if you're fighting horriblins in caves, they typically have a bunch of it. If you're defeating Henixes, I'm pretty sure that's where I got mine from. As long as you don't have those things in your inventory, you can come over to a cooking pot and cook any dish that you want to easily stack the effects of. That means that if you wanted to cook a hearty dish that gave you temporary hearts, if you wanted to cook a dish that gave you temporary stamina, if you wanted an attack buff, if you wanted a defense buff, if you wanted what I'm definitely gonna be doing, a speed up buff. If you didn't know, if you cook a dish that also includes a dragon horn, any of the four dragon horns, in the dish, it's going to increase the duration of that dish. So here, if I were to cook four fleet lotus seeds on their own, I'm gonna go ahead and get a hasty simmered fruit that gives me level three for four minutes. But if I cook the same fleet lotus seeds with a dragon horn, which I did a whole video tutorial on how you can easily find dragons and effectively farm their parts, you go ahead and cook this. And now you're gonna be getting hasty simmered fruit with a speed up for 30 minutes. If you go here and look at the recipe, you're gonna see that in the history, exactly what it is and exactly what it's supposed to be. The difference is that top one made with the dragon part instead of four minutes, 30 minutes. This is how you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Now from here, we're gonna walk over here to this woman who is selling seared food. And this could be done with any seared food vendor as long as you do not have that seared food in your inventory. So any effects that you really like for dishes you can just multiply and stack them okay now here is the glitch it is a little difficult and a little tricky to pull off so follow along with me okay you cook the dish it's in your inventory don't sort your inventory because you need it to be in the very last slot now we're gonna press a and then we're going to eat it from here we're gonna look at these roasted bass and we're gonna buy them and congratulations, you just did the glitch. <laughs> this roasted bass that we just purchased now has, the hearts won't be accurate because it's still just gonna be one and a half hearts as roasted bass should be. But the effect of the dish, speed up level three for 30 minutes. That's why this is a really bad glitch because you could stumble upon it through regular gameplay. Now that this roasted bass is in your inventory, if you were to get any additional roasted bass, like say for example, I come over here. Now one of the convenient parts of doing this at Karakara Bazaar is there is an open campfire here. If you drop some Hyrule bass on this open campfire or any environment that you would be on fire, like underground in the Elden region, after it's done cooking, it's now roasted bass. Let's go ahead, pick them up. And these roasted bass that we just got have stacked on top of the roasted bass that we already purchased. And now we have seven of them. We turned one Hyrule bass into a 30 minute speed up level three dish. Which if you go and you check the recipe, that's definitely not what it's supposed to be. Now from here, feel free to sort your inventory, have it at the top where it's supposed to be and you're gonna see that it falls neatly in line. Even after you decide to sort your inventory, if you accrue any additional roasted bass at any point, as long as you still have 
One, maybe two. Maybe you have to have two. I'm not 100% on that. Tell you what, have two. <laughs> Make sure you're safe. Probably with one it would work. But anyways, yeah. If you just get more roasted bass, it's just gonna find where it was in your inventory and stack on top. Anytime that you cook a Hyrule bass, one of the most common fish in the entire game, you're just gonna get more. I just wanted to clarify something really quick as far as the sentence that I just said, which any additional that you are going to be getting, if you were to go ahead and eat all of your roasted bass, and then you were to go ahead and get more seared roasted bass, these new roasted bass are not going to have that speed up. You have to maintain one in your inventory for them to stack with the desired effect. Now, she also has seared steak. I made sure to eat the seared steak out of my inventory. And now, I love speed up three. Oh, it's the best potion. Right now, I'm just going, going around and getting all the caves. If you wanted to get yourself, let's do attack up. So four mighty porgies, right? And then we're also going to be taking a light dragon horn. We're going to cook the four mighty porgies. And that's going to give us an attack up level three for 30 minutes because we use that dragon horn. Back in the food, it's still the last item. We're going to go ahead and eat it. Then we're going to go ahead and buy these seared steaks. Just for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and buy one seared steak. Yep, just buying one works. Buy it, 30 rupees, attack up 30 minutes. Now if we come over here to the materials, take out five raw meats, place them on this campfire. They are now seared steaks. Pick up the seared steaks. They stacked to be attack up 30 minutes. How much you're going to be saving on materials while you're going around and grinding is amazing. Actually, I went ahead and I went to all of the stores that I've unlocked in the game and no one else is selling. Wait, wait, what about the, the restaurant? There's a restaurant like down here, right? Yeah. OK, I'm going to check the restaurant. Yes, I was right. All right. So there's a place called the Bedrock Bistro here in the Goron region. I don't know if you have to clear Yonobo's quest or not, but I unlocked it by just going to this cave over here. I grabbed a rock roast, I put on a minecart, I brought it over here, and now we could buy seared gourmet steak, seared prime steak, and roasted bird thigh. Let's just go ahead, take out a portable pot, whatever additional dish that we want. So if we grab four hearty truffles, or you could do big hearty radishes, whatever you want like that. Actually, there's no reason to use dragon parts. Let's just use the hearty truffles. Cook those up. That's gonna be 21 hearts. I think radishes are slightly better. I think that would be 25. But anyways, if we go ahead and we eat that, and then we come over here and buy the seared gourmet steak, it now has plus 21 hearts. If we take five Endura carrots, which is going to restore stamina and give us temporary stamina, that's gonna give us two rings of extended stamina. We go ahead and eat that. You can go ahead and buy the roasted bird thigh. Now the roasted bird thigh is two rings of stamina. If you wanted to make a dish with five Sundalions to get rid of gloom, you can go ahead and cook that, which gets rid of 15 gloom hearts. Let's go ahead and eat that and then buy the seared prime steak. Yeah. And now that seared prime steak will give us two and a quarter hearts and recover 15 gloom hearts. And now any of these dishes that we make are just going to be those effects. So if we go ahead and make our way back to that cave that I just said that I came from, the West Restaurant Cave, which is where I got the rock roast from before, I already have one piece of the flame breaker armor on, but if I go ahead and I grab gourmet steaks, prime steaks, seared steaks, and bird thighs. Go ahead, drop these on the floor. They're gonna start to cook. Now you could just, you know, grab all of them that you want and they're all gonna be cooking pretty much at the same time. Go ahead, cook up all this meat. It's gonna go ahead, it's all gonna catch on fire pretty much at the same time. And then we're gonna have a lot of poofs happen. There's all the poofs. Don't let it roll down the hill. Collect all of it before it catches on fire. I'm gonna sort my inventory and now have five seared gourmet steaks that are temporary hearts. I have eight anti-gloom prime steaks. I have four double rings of stamina bird thighs. I have 10 attack up seared steaks. And of course the roasted bass at 30 minutes of speed up. If I'm being completely honest with you, the last little bit is kind of excessive. <laughs> but the speed up, who just doesn't want speed up? I, that's just quality of life stuff, right? And the attack up, it, it's getting a little reckless. It really is. 
but it's here. If you if you want to do this, go for it. This, this is a powerful one and you could stumble across it. That's the weirdest part. Anyways, guys, if you found this helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.